Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist, and I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in science based skincare, don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, join the family. We're a growing family. So join the family because we're here every week every week talking about skincare all right so today's video as you guys can tell i'll be talking about ingredients you should not be combining together and ingredients you should combine together now let me preface this video by saying some of these ingredients i have used together and i haven't seen any adverse effects happen by combining these ingredients together so it could be very very uh subjective to your personal use but i just wanted to put this out there just in case you're wondering why am i noticing irritation when i'm combining a and b ingredients together so i just kind of wanted to put this out there that this this is a possibility that it could happen it doesn't mean it'll happen to everyone but definitely a possibility especially in skin of color we do want to be uh, more cautious with these ingredients because when our skin gets triggered it increases the production of melanocytes which leads to hyperpigmentation and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation so we want to make sure that we're aware about these ingredients possibly be causing irritation to you so without further ado let's get into the video starting with ingredients you should not be combining should not be mixing together bad combos essentially are benzoyl peroxide and alpha-butin the reason why is that benzoyl peroxide will actually inactivate alpha-butin so basically it'll render alpha-butin dormant and it wouldn't really do what it's supposed to be doing which alpha-butin is a plant derived form of hydroquinone it's supposed to give brightening effects but benzoyl peroxide will cancel it out so that's number one number two is retinoids and BHAs like salicylic acid and the reason why is that this one can cause skin irritation. I personally have used these two together and I haven't noticed any form of irritation but some people have reported this to cause irritation as well as research on controlled groups so it's definitely something to keep in mind. All right moving right into number three vitamin C and AHAs like glycolic acid, lactic acid, or mandelic acid. The reason why is they are both less effective together so they actually don't synergize each other. They basically render each other less effective so it reduces potency levels of each other which we don't want. We want our ingredients to work really well together to enhance each other's potency powers. Moving on to the next one here is vitamin C and retinoids. Also very very controversial. The reason here is because it increases the risk of irritation. Vitamin C typically people would use in the morning and retinoids people would use at night because of possibility of irritation. But again, I've used both together, haven't really noticed anything. So just want you to be aware of that. And the final one on our list here today that you should not be using together is benzoyl peroxide and retinoids. Benzoyl peroxide works by uh, killing bacteria that could cause acne. Retinoids essentially do the same thing, especially when combined with clindamycin, which is what I use to help reduce or prevent acne. So basically they both cancel each other out. All right, moving now to the happier side of the video <laughs> is ingredients you should be combining together to help enhance the effects of each other and also increase potency levels of of these ingredients together. The first two ingredients are retinoids and bokuchio. I've mentioned this a few times in my videos, but bokuchio is a plant derived form of retinoid, so it increases the potency levels of retinoids. It helps it work a lot better. It enhances the effects of retinoids without causing any skin irritation. Next ingredients are vitamin C, ferulic acid, and vitamin E. Vitamin C, you guys know, is an antioxidant to help reduce free radicals on the skin surface. So these three together just amazing, amazing antioxidant properties. These other two ingredients increases vitamin C antioxidant levels by four times. So these three just work really amazing together. Next is niacinamide and salicylic acid. These two work together by helping control oil regulation. And niacinamide majorly does that, but it helps salicylic acid control oil in the skin. Next, extranitinic acid, kojic acid, and vitamin B3. Kojic acid is a known uh, dark spot remover, but these three together really escalate that reduction of dark spots on your skin. If you see a product that has these three ingredients, buy it snatch it up real quick because you would love it together all right moving on to second to last product here is caffeine and green tea extract increases antioxidant levels of each other helps with brightening properties helps skin texture great great, great ingredients together the final ingredients we have here are niacinamide and retinoids retinoids already help increase that cell turnover to give us better skin texture improved skin texture niacinamide helps boost those properties of retinoids to do it even faster and also when you first start using retinol some people notice that their skin can tolerate it and could notice 
reduce irritation. Niacinamide actually helps bring down that possibility of irritation from retinoids. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Again, please don't quote me on all of these ingredients. This is just from research and just anecdotal experiences of subsets of people. It doesn't mean that it applies to every single person. A lot of people have more tougher skin than others. For example, I consider my skin to be pretty tough and not easily irritated. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps Miss Algorithm. It tells her that we're doing great on this channel and it's going to push our videos to more people that look like us and just more people that really want to better their skin and have their best skin yet. Okay, so join the family, subscribe, like, and share it to your friends and family. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. to say